Hey everyone, just a quick video today about using a gouging machine. This is a Ross gouging machine, but a lot of these principles will apply to most machines. Um, the first thing I do when I'm about to gouge cane is, as you saw, take the cotton swab out that has oil on it, and then I just wipe off the oil from the blade and guide, wipe off the oil from the bed, and we're ready to go. This uh, rod mechanism is nicely oiled so it moves freely and i will talk you through what i do as i do it here so, so i have a piece of pre-gouged cane chopped to length and when i um, use any gouging machine even the inlet gouging machine i clean out the bed before i use it um, i usually just run my pinky or a finger through and especially making sure that there's no debris by the the front cane stop there. If there is debris there, that will hold up the edge of your cane and your cane will fly out of the bed. So that's an important thing. Um, you also don't want your cane to be held up in the bed because that will give you weird readings, probably thinner than normal. So once the bed is free of oil and debris, I just put the piece of cane in there, put the cane clips down, cane is centered, and then for a Ross gouging machine, I find these machines very easy to use. Um, I take this cane clip back, lower it down, and then you just go for it. You can take out the uh, curls as they come out. And if a curl ever gets stuck under the guide or under the clip, just get it out of there quick before you continue gouge until nothing more is coming off. Then turn the cane around, make sure it's centered in the bed, and you should get one or two little wisps. Um, this is all I really got off from that turnaround pass. And we do that just to make sure that the, the gouger is finished gouging. Because the blade in the carriage and everything is approaching it from the right, it always leaves a little on the left. Um, that's why we flip the cane around and do it. Again, um, after that, I like to measure, but I know this um, machine is gouging at 58 in the middle, and I like that a lot. So um, a few things to look out for when you're gouging, and um, these, uh, these troubleshooting things can kind of apply to most machines. Um, the most common complaint I'll hear about a gouging machine is, well, it's not taking cane off, it's not cutting. Um, the first thing to check if it's not cutting is, is the blade kind of gummed up with cane debris? And you can wipe off this side of the blade, but there is another side of the blade, so we want to kind of get in that little crevice. And I, I'll use a razor blade thing and just kind of clean anything off in there. You can use a brush, clean anything off, push the brush down through the blade, um, and clean that off to make sure that the cutting edge is clean. Another thing that can happen, or, or can cause a blade to not cut well, is that the blade is dull, and then you need to get it sharpened. Um, a third thing would be that the blade is not sticking out of the guide enough. In that case, you need to advance the blade so that more is showing outside of the guide. Um, a fourth thing can happen if your cane is extremely soft and kind of grainy, uh, it'd be very flexible if you try to twist it. Um, it, the blade may not cut it super well, especially if the blade is a little dull. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention soaking your cane. That piece of cane I just gouged was soaked for two hours. And if your cane is not soaked long enough, the blade will also have a hard time cutting it. Um, few other things to watch out for if if you are gouging and you notice that your piece of cane let me just grab another piece of cane if you notice that your piece of cane and I'm drying this off on a towel here if you're gouging and your cane is continuously kind of moving to one side or the other of the bed um, that's a sign that your blade is off-center, 
and that you should check that out. Um, if you're cane, especially at the end of your passes, is getting pulled and ripped and there's chunks coming off, that's probably your blade is too far advanced. And if as you are gouging, there's more, uh, there you need to use more and more pressure, downward pressure, that is probably, um, say it starts cutting well at first, but then as you go, it doesn't cut as well. That's probably you need to expose more blade. And it's kind of hard to show this in a video, but you really shouldn't need to use much pressure, especially for a Ross gouger, because this is a solid sunk of brass, this carriage, and brass is pretty heavy metal. So the carriage itself provides quite a bit of downward pressure. All you really need to do is be pushing and just a nice smooth back and forth motion to engage the blade with the cane. And that should be it. You shouldn't have to bear down on it at all. If you do, um, it's probably a dull blade or blade not showing or something. I'm trying to think of other things. I didn't make notes, but um, yeah, that's that should be about it. Um, keep your blades oiled and clean and that should uh, serve you very well. Thanks guys.